Hey, Rob Black from Harness, and today we're taking an updated look on deploying Helm charts with Harness. If unfamiliar with Helm, Helm is the package manager for Kubernetes, allowing you to have quick installation and on installation of Kubernetes resources. Helm came out in 2015 and is a stalwart in the Kubernetes community. So let's go ahead and get started. Currently taking a look at the Harness platform, I actually have a Kubernetes cluster running. I also have a Kubernetes delegate that's running we can take a look at right here. So these particular steps are easy to achieve, lots of documentation on that. The next step is to actually wire a Helm repository uh, to your Harness instance. What we're going to be installing today is Nginx from Bitnami in the Helm repository. So here's all the information that we need. So to go ahead and wire a Helm repository to Harness, go back to setup, go back to connectors, and then go to artifact servers. Clicking into artifact servers, we can actually add a new artifact server. But I already have this up and running. All we need to do to add is select a type of Helm repository, give it a name, give it the address, and go ahead and click test. And if that's successful, fantastic. So now let's actually go and assemble the pieces that we need to actually make a deployment. I actually have one waiting for us here. I actually made one called Helm on a Ham Basket. If you haven't made a harness application before, it's actually pretty straightforward. You just make a new application, give it a description, and click Submit, and you will be given a blank CD abstraction template. Let's actually take a look at Helm in a Handbasket. There's only three pieces that you need here. The first piece is you need to define where you're going to be deploying something to. The next you're going to be defining what you're going to be deploying, and then how you're going to be deploying. Just take a look at where. So I actually set up a test environment, but if you don't have one, go always add an environment. Digging into test environment, the only other step you have to do is add an infrastructure definition, which I have here. We can take a look at the steps. I'm basically giving a name of my Helm cluster, saying it's a Kubernetes cluster, and then just defining the cluster that we have running. And I have one in EKS called my Helm cluster. Going back to what we need to deploy is actually our service we need to deploy. So go ahead and add a service. We can just type this in Nginx. We're going to be doing a Kubernetes deployment type. And so this is a blank de Kubernetes deployment. All we have to do is come right here, which is manifest. Um, actually link a remote manifest. And just a few items to pick here. We're going to select a Helm chart for Helm repository. Go ahead and get the Helm repository just wired in. This is the particular chart version. Uh, the chart version we're going to be using is 8.2.0. If you're unfamiliar with the chart version, there's a little bit of a cheat. You can actually get it from the website, or if you have it wired into your Helm client, uh, you can see here that version 8.2 is the latest. And then say we're doing Helm v3 and go ahead and click Submit, and your chart's wired up. The last step we want to do is actually create a workflow, so we come back to Helm in a Handbasket, and go into Workflows. We actually have a clear workflow here, but we we'll go ahead and make a new one by clicking Add Workflow, and we can just fill in a few basic details like deploy Nginx again. The workflow type will be a rolling deployment. We're gonna say we're gonna deploy to our test environment, the one of the two uh, services we've created here, and then some cluster, go ahead and click Submit. And that's basically it. Now, if we want to go ahead and deploy uh, what we've made before, uh, there's a couple ways to do it. We can click Deploy here, or you can come to Continuous Deployment. Go to Deployments. Let's start a new deployment. Execute a workload directly. We're going to be using the one we already created, which is Deploy Nginx. And say so let's... Let's go. Not to blast everybody and go ahead and click submit. And now you're on your way to your very first Helm deployment. With that, it was actually very simple to wire this up. And also you can actually wire multiple pieces of it and multiple Kubernetes clusters making your Helm deployments very simple. Until next time, cheers, Robbie.